Welcome to episode three of Coffee with Keith and with guest Lily. I'm Lily. He's Keith. Today we're going to focus on another classic, and today's cocktail is going to be a Manhattan. What's in a Manhattan? Um, three parts whiskey, one part sweet vermouth, one to two dashes bitters, orange peel that that can be optional, and garnish with the cherry. So the cherries you can use, you can use uh, the maraschino cherries, which a lot of people might want to use. Uh, today we're going to use the Luxato. If you don't want to spend the money on the extra, uh, the maraschino will be perfectly fine. But today we're going to use the Luxato. Um, tell us a little bit about the history of the drink. Um, history suggests that the drink originated at the Manhattan Club in New York in the 1870s. The so the Manhattan Club, this drink was originally uh, made by Dr. Ian Marshall uh, as, a, as a banquet that he was throwing for Jenny Jerome. And Jenny Jerome was the mother of who? Winston Churchill. Um, the original Manhattan cocktail <laughs> was a mix of American whiskey, vermouth, and bitters. Scotch whiskey instead of American whiskey, and it is called a Rob Roy. Done. So tradition says that the drink was made with rye whiskey, so we're going to end up using rye whiskey today. Uh, for a lot of the drinks that we make at home, we end up using uh, American bourbon, um, but in Prohibition, when a lot of this was prohibited, they ended up using a lot of Canadian whiskey. And for the bitters, I mean, not the bitters, for the sweet vermouth, you can buy this in any liquor store, you know, anywhere from six to ten dollars, unless you want to really splurge, Ray, and buy the Angostura bitters, uh, Angostura vermouth, which is about thirty-five bucks. So, are we ready to make a cocktail? Yep. All right, let's ice it up. Oops. That's good. Okay, so first we're going to add a little bit of the vermouth. If you look online, a lot of the recipes say it's two pots whiskey and one pot vermouth. We like to do three to one. A little bit more whiskey. All right, down the hatch. Boom. A little bit of the rye. Let's do three of those. So you'll also see that the recipes online, a lot of it suggests that you stir the drink as opposed to shaking it. We're gonna shake it today because we find that it makes it a little bit cloudy, but I think it blends it a little bit better. Um, so we're gonna do that when we actually shake it. A little bit of the bitters, one to two dashes, whatever you'd like. Get another one. Oh, that's fine. All right, cap it up. Oh, also, if you want to make it a little bit sweeter, you could take a little bit of the juice from the cherries. Today, we're not going to do that, but if you want to, go right ahead. Shake it up. All right, shake. Done. Yeah. So the Manhattan is a, is a very old drink. Um, you'll see it in a lot of bars and restaurants these days. I think it's like... Uh, Cadillac of drinks. I pretty much order it before or after every meal we go out. Look at the color on that. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Any extra in there? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. And let's get a little, let's get a little cherry garnish. All right, the best part of sip. Let's see how it came out. Don't 
delicious. There you go. There's your Manhattan. Bye. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.